Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a hair week tutorial. Um, I gave Felicia a little makeover the other night. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely so happy with the way it turned out. I had a moment of madness and I just shot my wig up. And this is the outcome. She still needs to be kind of tidied up around the back, but that's okay because we can't see that. So if you want to see how I wear my wigs, how I put them on, how I make them look as realistic as possible, then keep watching. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this little hairnet on first. Now my hair is like crazy right now. I just, I just left it as it was. So we're a little bit crazy. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to take a little section out at the front. So that way, when it's just my own hairline, you're not gonna see like a hairline from the wig. Um, so it's gonna look more natural. I actually got that idea from a video that Crispy done on her wigs and I just thought it was like the best idea ever. And now I'm just gonna wrap the hair net just around my hair. any little strands that come out just push that back in so I part it here at the side because that's where I'm going to place the pattern of the wig I'm actually just going to straighten these bits first because just because they're a little bit frizzy right now you can do this afterwards too but I'm just doing it now because they're actually really annoying me so we just cut it into like a graduated bob. So I just trimmed it back and dropped it along the front. It's not perfect right now because I had to cut it on this head. Um, but when my boyfriend gets back, he may just have to be my guinea pig and he may just have to wear the wig until I cut it because I have no other way of like making sure it's nice and neat because I know it's, looking at it here, it's like a little bit uneven and it's annoying me, but it's, it's hard to cut it on this thing. I custom dyed it myself as well. Um, I used Arctic Fox. I mixed Girls Night. I think it's Girls Night with a little bit of Virgin Pink to get that really soft, kind of pinky, purpley shade. I probably need to go over it again. I know this is a little bit that so didn't take on it. Um, when I got this wig first, she was blonde. Like kind of like a, I don't want to say yellow blonde, but like a yellow blonde. So it was hard to kind of get the cooler tone on top. So it took me a few goes to get the color. Um, but I think I'm just gonna go over it again. So yeah, this is Felicia. So everybody, Felicia, Felicia, everybody. So with these, they have the clips here. You can see them, like the little slides. And also, there's, so there's three of them, and then there's like a tightener. And in here on the underneath, you can tighten the wig. So I put it on the tightest because this wig is a little bit too big for me. This wig is from Sway Hair, by the way. I will link the wig and the color and everything in the description box below. I like to hold it front ways like this and kind of get it on to the front and then get the back. I'll show you as I'm doing it. So it makes more sense. So I'll just do this and just drag it down. Just kind of wiggle it on. Pull out any hairs. And just kind of move it around. Make sure you kind of line it up where you want the pattern to be. So now I'm just gonna slide these clips in so the wig stays put. So there's one here. So kind of just get it and get it underneath the wig cap. And pull that down and the exact same on the other side so just pull out your little bits of hair here and find your clip and underneath the wig and then the back one as well so now it feels nice and secure so you can see my own hair here isn't the exact same color as the wig it's pretty close but it's not the same so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to section my own hair out that I have here. 
get some eyeshadow, blush, anything that kind of matches. I use a Makeup Geek blush, it's called Love Letter. So it's this kind of purpley pinkish shade. So I'm just gonna get this with a flat brush and just kind of gently go over. So I'm just gonna go over my own hair. So that everything blends in and it doesn't look like two different hairs. And I suppose the good thing about, as I said, the wig is like a little bit, um, like it took differently in different places. So it kind of has them different tones going through it. So that kind of helps, I suppose, with my own hair. Because it kind of blends it in even more. Now, and because I have some roots, just my own natural roots, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of give the wig here some roots just so it doesn't look like roots and then it stops so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get some gray shadow i'm just gonna mix like a light gray and a bit of a dark gray i don't know i'm just gonna see if this works hopefully the color works just gonna mix them two together this is just on a little flat brush I'm just going along the root of the wig, just in little, um, some little stripe motion. You know, this side isn't as bad because the way the hair kind of flicks over, you don't really see it as much, but I'm just gonna do a little bit anyway. I'm just gonna go over this bit here. It's looking a little bit kinky. That would have a bad straightener on. This wig was really, really, really long. Um, but it was kind of getting scraggly on the ends. It wasn't really like looking nice and sleek. It was looking really dry. So I felt like she needed a makeover. So we cut it into this kind of short bob look, which I'm totally into. I've always wanted to be able to like cut my own hair into a shape like this, but my own hair is so fine that I can't do anything with it. But now I can with the help of Felicia. So there we go, that's how I do my wigs. So sleeky, like I'm obsessed. I had this wig on yesterday and I couldn't stop looking at myself in the mirror. I know that sounds so vain, but I'm not even joking. I was just obsessed with it. So that is how I wear my wigs. I do the same thing for all my wigs. I do have another tutorial that I did last year of how I do like the half up, half down. The exact same technique where I take the hairline out and just kind of bring it back. But I'll link that video below that if you want to check that out too, you can. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.